Oregon's tourism industry is already taking a huge hit from the virus, and travel forecasts show a decline in visitors through summer. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel is live in downtown Portland now with what this means for the state and also the state's businesses. Audrey? Wayne, Oregon could lose out on billions of dollars from tourists this year. Last year, visitors spent $12.8 billion in Oregon. The Oregon Tourism Commission doesn't know yet exactly how hard of a hit the industry will take, but right now it is not looking good. All's quiet downtown, at the airport, at the restaurants and bars, on the coast and in the gorge, as places normally bustling with activity sit idle and people stay home instead. Oregon is seeing a huge decrease in visitors. Statewide hotel occupancy is down more than 66%, and the number of daily passengers at PDX is down more than 95%. We just love the area we've been here, but right now this is a struggle because there's just no tourism. Its town is totally dead. Mickey Dewan owns Riverview Lodge in Hood River, where the city has restricted lodging to mostly month-long stays and essential workers. We have 22 rooms, hotel, and all of them are empty except just two rooms taken. Dewan says restrictions or not, there aren't any visitors to fill the rooms anyway. It's so empty, our phone isn't even ringing. Even if it rings, it's just cancellations. She fears it could be that way for a while. Data given to Fox 12 by the state's Tourism Commission Travel Oregon shows a forecast based on online searches and bookings. Domestic travel to Oregon is expected to decline into August. Dwan says nearly all of her reservations have been canceled through September. I think we may have like just a few here and there reservations left that we know they might be canceled as well. but. Her books are totally open now. It's difficult. We are hoping that this year will be done and next year will be better. And this will be all over soon. As far as revenue to the state, Oregon collects a lodging tax from hotel stays that accounts for tens of millions of dollars. That money actually goes to the Oregon Tourism Commission, which then spends it back on promoting and facilitating Oregon tourism. So this really has a compounding effect. Live in Northwest Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.